Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. Today my favorite makeup is actually this. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the color Wisp. I'm actually not using it as a highlighter. I've been using it as eyeshadow because it gives sort of an interesting coppery shimmer to it. I like it much better, this particular shade, as an eyeshadow than on my cheeks. It looks a little... it's not the right color for me on my cheeks, but on my eyes it's working pretty well. I still am very tempted every time I touch this because it's so squishy to sort of like dig my finger into it. So I hope I'm not wasting product, but at least I am getting use out of it because I wasn't sure this color was working for me. And now on to the video. So today's video is going to be my two day wear test of these. These are the new from CoverGirl Katie Cat glosses. These are the Katy Perry line. So she does also have lipsticks and mascaras, which I have both used so I can speak that they are nice products. I did enjoy them. The lipsticks sort of have an interesting smell to them, but they were good lipstick. They were well pigmented and they lasted a long time. And the mascara was good drugstore mascara and it also came in blue. So. I enjoyed it. So when I saw these on Instagram, I was really intrigued by them, mostly because the packaging is really quite adorable. And then when I went into my CVS right after that, these were there. They were already set up. I'd seen the display set up a couple days earlier, but there wasn't anything in it, and then they filled these in. You can also get them at Ulta, as well as other various places. I mean, look at this. It's got a tiny cat head on the top of this lip gloss. Why wouldn't I want this? It's adorable. So there are 12 shades available. I picked up two. There is also like a white and a bright turquoise as well as some other purples, uh, some pinks, not really any reds. Well, I guess there's one red and then sort of one like neutral natural shade. I'll post a photo that I found here of a full display. So the two shades I picked up are Purple Paws, which is sort of a pinky purple magenta with glitter in it. And then this one, this is Indigo Cat. This does not have glitter in it. It's a really neat, dark, deep purple. So my CVS had six colors in stock. Uh, there were some other things that were opened, but I picked the two most interesting colors to me because that white lip gloss looked a little bit weird. I couldn't actually tell what was going on in it and the turquoise was actually open. I believe on the Ulta website these are selling for $7.99 at my CVS because I live in the New York City area. I think they were closer to $9. Uh, it just depends on where you live, honestly. Uh, but I was using extra care bucks, so I don't feel too bad about it. So I wanted to find out what these promised to do exactly. So from the CoverGirl website itself, this is what I got. Delivering thick and luxurious lips that are perfect for any occasion. Katie Cat Gloss gives you the shiny lips you've been looking for with a soft, and creamy moisturized feel. So that was all it said. So then I also went on the Ulta website and it had a little bit more information. So I'm gonna go with, that was probably provided to Ulta from CoverGirl, it just wasn't on the CoverGirl website. That also says it's a full coverage lip color with soft shine, never sticky or tacky, intensely pigmented for a rich color that glides on smoothly. Now we're gonna talk about all of the things that this claims to do and whether I felt that was true. Uh, but first of all, you know, I wanna say again, 10 out of 10 on this packaging. Even if I didn't know anything about the Katie Cat line, I would have definitely looked at these. I feel like this isn't even the first cat-headed piece of makeup I've seen recently. I think there's a Tarte mascara that has a cat head on it as well, or maybe an eyeliner or something. I'm gonna look that up. I know I've said in the past I'm not a really big lip gloss person, and I'm not. However, lip gloss is where the trend is going right now, so I'm trying to find some lip glosses that I actually like without breaking the bank, which is why you may notice that of all the lip glosses I own, I didn't pay more than $9 a piece for any of them, so these still fit within that budgetary need. So for the two shades, I'll put both of them on. I'm going to start with Indigo Cat. This is the deep purple. So these smell a little bit like vanilla, but not really. I will say that the applicator on these is not very good, and the there's like fuzzies on it. But if I just put a little swipe on the back of my hand, as you can see, this is very pigmented lip gloss. Like, they're not joking when it comes to this one. Uh, in terms of being a full coverage lip product, it definitely actually is. And this is the shade Indigo Cat. Now, this is a very dark lip gloss, so you do need to be a little careful when applying it or it can look a little bit patchy, but I found once I got an even coat on my entire lip, then actually it looked pretty good. It is lip gloss, so it does transfer and it does come off if you're eating that sort of thing, but just living your life, going out into the world, uh, this actually held pretty well. It started to fade a little bit. The color got a little bit lighter after about three hours, um, but I did reapply and it reapplied very nicely. So for a lip gloss, I really wasn't expecting it to do better than that. <laughs> I was pleased that it did that well. Uh, 
It did feather a little bit on the bottom lip, I did notice, throughout the day, but it wasn't terrible, and it was also very easy to correct. Like, it didn't make a huge mess to get it off. I just sort of, like, tightened up the line. I did try this later with lipstick under it to see if that would eliminate the problem. Pairing this on top of a lipstick, I found, made this unbearably sticky, because right now, as it is, it does slide very nicely. I don't feel sticky. I don't feel tackiness. My lips just feel like smooth and moisturized. Like that claim that it's giving, I think that that's true. If I try to combine this with a lipstick, that goes out the window. This becomes incredibly sticky and unpleasant and I don't like it at all. I much prefer it by itself. But the color payoff is very nice, especially on this color. I'm perfectly fine wearing this by itself. I would definitely do that in the future. So in terms of all of the claims for the Katie Cat Gloss, I think Indigo Cat definitely fulfills all of those claims. It's definitely shiny, it feels nice on your lips, it's not sticky and tacky, and it's very pigmented. Like, the color is definitely there, you can tell, you know, I'm wearing this, but also, like, you can see my lips through it, it is a gloss, but in like a pleasant way, not a patchy way. One thing to note with Indigo Cat, that after about five hours of wear, when I did take it off for a little while to eat some dinner, uh, it had stained my lips a little bit, but nothing unpleasant, just that my lips were definitely darker than they normally are, and then I reapplied after I had dinner again, and then when I washed my face at night, the color did come off of my lips, but it is going to stay with you while you're wearing it throughout the day. Next, we're going to take a look at Purple Paws. This one has glitter in it. This one I have mixed feelings about. So below Indigo Cat, we have Purple Paws. That one does have glitter in it, though it's very shiny. You might also notice that Indigo Cat has sort of bled into the cracks on my hand a little bit, and that's kind of what it does on the lips after a couple of hours too. Based on the CoverGirl website and the Ulta website, it's not really easy to see which ones of these have glitter and which ones do not. I can tell you only from personal experience that the turquoise shade name goes here. That one did not have any glitter in it. The white shade Cadillac Cat, that did not have glitter in it. Uh, Indigo Cat does not, but I didn't see all of the shades. They were not available in my CVS to tell you. Purple Paws, on the other hand, definitely has glitter in it. And this is the shade Purple Paws. So based on my experience with these two shades, it feels to me like the glitter formula of these glosses is not the same as the non-glitter formula. And obviously one has glitter, one doesn't, but the glitter formula is much thicker and it is much stickier. It's not an unpleasant amount of stickiness, like I could still deal with this and still wear it because the color is lovely, uh, but the consistency of this particular gloss is a little weird. So the lip gloss in this tube, and unfortunately you won't be able to see it really, it kind of has the consistency of like slightly hardened peanut butter. Uh, Basically, when I was first using this the first day, as I would pull the applicator out, because it was so thick, it mostly came off of the applicator and stayed inside the tube, so I barely had any product. I actually had to reach in there, stir it around for a little bit to sort of warm it up, I guess, before I could really get product to come out on an easy basis. And that was nothing like how the Indigo Cat experience was. They'd been treated the same way. Yeah, they had gone out into cold temperatures and come back into my house, but they'd both been in my house the same amount of time, and the one gloss was perfectly fine, but this one was oddly thick. This one also feels thicker on the lips. I assume whatever they put in it to add the glitter in to keep the glitter from coming off, that must be something to do with it. I don't think it's bad, I just, it's not something I care for. This is too much gloss for me, like this is, the sensation of this on my lips is too much for me, I would not want to wear this one. So for me, this is not a pleasant feeling, but you, your experience may definitely differ. The positives on the Purple Paws is that the iridescence of this gloss is really very beautiful and just the base color itself is very nice. It also stayed pretty well on my face for a couple of hours. I think I got about the same, about three hours worth of wear before it noticeably had changed color. It had definitely gotten lighter at that point. It did eventually start to seep down into the lines around my mouth as well, just like the Indigo Cat. Um, when I wiped this one off later, I didn't really feel there was much of a staining issue with this one either, so that was pretty much the same. It was easy to reapply this. I also tried this over lipstick. It had the same problem. It got really sticky afterwards. Uh, I did try it with a lip liner as well, and I didn't really see much noticeable difference, but at least it didn't get sticky on me, so... So, final thoughts on the Katie Cat Gloss. I did purchase these with my own money, and I don't generally return makeup unless there's something egregiously wrong with it, so I don't feel these are worthy of a return. I definitely think I will use the Indigo Cat shade. I think it's quite pretty, and I enjoyed the way it looked on my lips, and it didn't annoy me wearing it all day. Uh, I may not get much use out of the Purple Paws. I have another lipstick that's a similar color to this. 
I thought this was going to be a little bit darker actually based on how it looked in the tube but it actually lightens up once it's on your lips so it's not really a unique color for me and I have other formulas that will be less annoying so I probably won't wear this very much but it is very cute so I'm not mad about the tiny little cat face that will be looking out at me amongst my products but I do actually think the Indigo Cat is a very nice lip gloss and I would definitely use it. Will I be picking up any more? Uh, it's possible I might pick up that turquoise shade just because I love me a turquoise. I certainly can't help that. Uh, none of the other colors really spoke to me, but that one did. Unfortunately, the only one that they had at my store was opened. So if I wanted to pick that up, I'll have to search somewhere else to see if I can pick it up later. But again, it's not a pressing need. It's just if I were in the mood and I saw it in there, I might pick another one up because I do think it's a nice lip gloss. It's definitely very opaque. It fulfills all of the things it promised to do. It's really not very sticky. It's not too tacky. Uh, it's, it's got a lovely shine to it and it stayed pretty well. And that's not even something it's claiming to do, but it is definitely super pigmented. Like that's a very pigmented lip gloss. I'm pretty impressed with that, especially for a drugstore lip gloss, but how well this went on. It was easy to apply. I had to use a little bit more product for the Indigo Cat just because it's so much darker, but I really like the way that it turned out. So if you're into a nice opaque lip gloss in some interesting colors and you're feeling up to it, I would definitely say, hey, try out one of those Katie Cat glosses. Uh, I just maybe caution you to watch out for the glitter ones. I just don't think they're quite as good as the regular. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content on this channel, please subscribe. If you've got an idea for a video you'd like to see me do, you can put that down in the comments below. And I hope you're all having a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye!